Whoa! This looks amazing! Wait for me! I'm coming with! Look! It's a flower dress! So pretty! This is my favorite for sure! Wait! Huh? What's going on with your paper? Oh! Girls! Where did you go? Girls! This isn't funny! Where are you? Huh? What's this on the ground? Here I go! Whoa! Looks like we've been transported into a challenge! Huh? What happened to me? Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start! Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch! Hey! I can use that ribbon! That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Uh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook. Open the back cover. And start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbon. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box. Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. Huh? It sure is dark in here. I'm so scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night! Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? Ah! It's back! I need help! Please, help! What? Over there! Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights off! Huh? What is that thing? Ah! A monster? Oh, okay, stop teasing me already. I feel so much better now. Monster free is the way to be! Well, I guess this is where we are now. So, let's see what's up. Hey, how are you? We haven't talked in forever. <sighs> Might as well work on my manicure, I guess. Huh? Finally! Something's happening! Look at that light! Something alien and UFO-y is going on! Exciting! This is so cool! I can't wait to see what happens next! Wait, I got stuck with no hands? Come 
on, that's not fair. I got one hand, and I'm totally okay with that. Time to start drawing my little alien guy. There's his head. Now to work on his body. Can't be a little alien dude without any arms. Two, of course. And then down to his little sticky legs. Now to add some details. He needs to have his typical big black eyes. And a little nose and mouth, too. Now to get him up and moving. Ugh, she totally makes it look so easy with her one hand she can use. Oh my gosh, it's an actual alien right here next to me! He's doing something with my plate and a marker. Hmm, let's see what he did. Looks like he tried to draw an alien. Hey, Mr. Alien Dude! Check out what I did on my plate! See? I can make him dance when the water moves. Man, he's got some great moves if I say so myself. Do you love it? I bet you totally love it. Yes! He loves it! Whoa! Look at that amazing space cake! Wow! He's putting it by me! I guess I get it! Here, you can have this! This might be the best cake I've ever seen! Uh -huh. She gets a cake and I get what? Nothing, I guess. Other than just this alien scribble on my plate. Hey! What about my plate? Don't you want this one too? Maybe in exchange for a cake? No? What the heck? You're the one who drew it! Can't believe this. Mmm. This looks great. I'm going in for a bite. How? Oh, mmm. That is one delicious space gig. I'm definitely glad that I won this one. Okay, are you ready, Ashley? Can I go first, please? Sure. Go for it. Thanks. This is so exciting. It's the bunny! See? Are you serious? It's the cat! No! No way! It's the bunny! Stop it! You're mean! I'm only following the rules. If you want to play that way, bring it on. Let's do this. I've been training for this my whole life. Come at me. Ugh, my nose! Oh, I need to do something! That's it! I give up! Oh, give me that! Watch this! I'll draw some S shapes on the paper. Then join them up. This is gonna be so cute! Can't forget two smiling faces! It's a bunny and a cat! But they need some color. They look so happy! It's so easy to draw this! I'm almost finished! Justin, look at this! They're hugging! Whoa! It's a cat! It's amazing! Aw, it's so adorable! This looks so cute! Matthew will love it! Oh. Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it! I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should have brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. I don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! <gasps> what am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should have thought of this earlier! I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. 
I'm sorry. I need this to be perfect. I'm so bored. It's ready. Ahem. <clears throat> Lizzie, this is for you. I hope you like it. Yeah, right. I made it especially. Gimme! It's amazing! Ugh. It's enough to make you sick. Akul? What are you kids like? Ah, this looks good. Make me an ice cream. On it! I'll start with a triangle. This'll be my cone. That was easy. I'll go around the edge. This will add some detail. Then I'll make some lines. This is making me hungry. Time for the ice cream! I like vanilla. That's one big scoop of ice cream. Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand! Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of paint left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you! Ugh, I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? 
You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Oh. Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life! Along with the outline of the wings! Other side! There! Just admire this pure beauty! And that's just the beginning, son! You know, you don't just have to paint on paper. In fact, your body can become a canvas. All it takes is a little imagination and some creativity. Black paint and a black background can create some striking artwork. It might not look much just now, but you're gonna be impressed. Any ideas what it is? Okay, are you ready, Ashley? Can I go first, please? Sure, go for it. Thanks! This is so exciting! It's the bunny! See? Are you serious? It's the cat! No! No way! It's the bunny! Stop it! You're mean! I'm only following the rules. If you want to play that way, bring it on. Let's do this. I've been training for this my whole life. Come at me. Ugh, my nose! Oh, I need to do something! That's it! I, I give up! Oh, give me that! Watch this! I'll draw some S shapes on the paper, then join them up. This is gonna be so cute! Can't forget two smiling faces! It's a bunny and a cat! But they need some color. They look so happy! It's so easy to draw this! I'm almost finished! Justin, look at this! They're hugging! Whoa! It's a cat! It's amazing! Aw, it's so adorable! Take that! Wait, what's that? Oh! It looks so cuddly! There's a tiny draft, too! This one's mine! Aww! Okay, I guess this little guy's mine. Heh, <laughs> my draft is much better. Okay, don't move. I need to draw you. So far, so good. What are you doing? I'm examining the draft. Oh, good idea. Hmm. I wonder how Justin's doing. Pretty realistic, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Jerry. It doesn't look like a giraffe. This is gonna be tricky. It's all about getting the right scale. Hang on! I have an idea! I'll place my hand like this and then draw around it. I'll add a face. And now it's a giraffe! Let's color it in! This brown is the perfect color. And I can color the rest yellow. Careful! I don't want to make any mistakes now. Now for the neck! That's it! I'm glad I thought of that! Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. You can have this! Thank you! Okay, the next round! Wait, cover your eyes! Ooh, mysterious! Hehe, <laughs> I'm gonna surprise Ashley. Ugh, that's pretty gross. Ooh, and it smells awful! What's that smell? Sorry. Wait, Justin! I know what we can do! Check this out! I'll start by drawing a tree. Then some apples. Let's add some green leaves. I better stay in the lines. It's looking good! I'll add some dark green for the leaves. It just gives it texture. And of course, the trunk has to be brown. Using vertical pen strokes makes it look like wood. 
Then we'll color the apples red. They look so juicy! Ta-da! It's an apple tree! It's good, but it's not a real apple. <gasps> Justin, look! Whoa! That's so cool! Mmm, that's so tasty! Try one! I think I will! Think you could draw pizza? One, two, go! Ugh, close! I'll solve this with a spin of the wheel. Who was that? Oh, that was so weird. Oh, look at the wheel! What? Oh, wow! This might be tricky. Mmm, stop! What? what? Let's make it interesting. One, two, three, go! This is tense. Oh no! My pencil! It's okay, I have another. This isn't going well. Oh, come on! Huh? Oh, unlucky. I don't have time for this! Uh, this is taking too long! Uh, I need to hurry! Time's almost up! Ugh, get out of here! Hey, keep your garbage away from my art! Although, this might be useful. I'll start by drawing a ballerina. This'll look great! She looks so graceful. And I'll use the pencil shavings as the tutu. I'm really happy with this. Hey, Ashley. What do you think? Mm, I wasted so much time! But I can still finish my drawing! Just give me a moment! Ugh, careful! Okay, that's it! What do you think? It's good, isn't it? Great job! Look at the timer! We did it! Put it there. Well done. I love painting. It's so relaxing. And I have the best model. You're too kind. Hey! Focus! Pick a number! I'll finish this later. We're ready! Go on, then. I think… uh, this is tough. What do you think? I know how to decide. We can roll a dice. Number five! Okay, let's go for it. Five! Ooh, interesting choice. Ah, wildlife drawing. It's tricky. Ooh, I love it! I need some special pens! Where do they come from? Isn't that cheating? I just have a boring pencil. And it's not even sharp. Luckily, I have this oversized comedy pencil sharpener. I may have sharpened a little too much. I can't use this. What am I gonna do now? Oh, maybe I can steal, I mean, borrow a pen. And I can use these scissors for my drawing. Then draw around them. I'll move them up slightly and draw around the top of the handle. Now I'll turn them upside down. That should do it. Now for the details. I'll start with the eyes. Then the nose. And mouth. Okay, I can add the mane now. This is a great way to draw. I'll color in the head. I'll start with the ears. And the mouth. I'll use pink for the nose. I think I'm almost done. I almost forgot the tongue. There! The king of the jungle! It's pretty roarsome. Get it? That's pretty good. Here's my drawing. Good job. It's a tough decision. It's a tie. Whoa! It's only fair! Hey, Jasmine. I have something for you. I hope you like them. They smell amazing. Aw, thanks! That's so sweet! You deserve them. They're gorgeous!
Hey, Romeo and Juliet, knock it off. You still have to pick a number. Mmm, five. One. Five and one make six. <laughs> six, please. Okay, number six. Oh, good choice. Looks like our time is up. Bye. What do you mean? Hey, we're back in the classroom. Phew. Quiet. No talking in class. At least we had some fun. Whoa! Are you seeing this light right here? Ooh, looks like we've got boxes this time. I'm gonna take this one. No way! Look what was in mine! Cans of spray paint! I wonder what's in mine? I can't tell just by shaking. I'll open it. Wow! It's a whole box full of new colored pencils! I love them! Oh! Look! Another little box! What do you think's inside? I'll open it and find out. Huh. That's not what I expected. It's a gummy eyeball! So squishy. Okay, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. Mmm, that's very tasty. And chewy. I love it! Wow, that was a really good snack. I wish I had even more to eat. Hey look! We both get to use hands this time! All right, I've got my gloves and I'm ready to make some art. I'm gonna start with this blue color and make a splotch in the middle. Now I'll use this glass as a guide for the white paint. There. Now we've got a perfect blue circle. Next up, I need this plate. I'll put it face down on the paper. Time to break out the black spray paint now. Okay, I need a little black in the middle for a pupil, because it's an eye. I'm ready with my pencils and my one hand. Here I go! Time to draw an eye with my single hand. This is going pretty good so far. And I think I'm done! Ta-da! My happy little face is done! Whoa! How the heck did you do that? What? My cute little eye? Didn't it turn out fantastic? No way! The magic turned my picture into another gummy eyeball! Except it's a huge one! No way! What the heck? That's gigantic! Can I have it? Uh, no way. This belongs to me. Now excuse me. I need to eat my giant eyeball. <sighs> Man. Though I guess I didn't give her any of my cake. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh, another one? They keep coming! After school means craft time! Just look at this thing go! Good thing I have a lot of this stuff. Oh yeah, make it rain, baby! Hmm. I think that looks pretty good. Ugh. She's always so messy. But at least I've learned to come prepared. I've got to protect the moneymaker somehow. Here comes the stamp brush. Am I good or am I good? Now how can I make this more interesting? Hope you like paint, little buddy! Woohoo! Oh no! Uh-oh. You're in big trouble, Missy! Now give me that dirty bear. Uh-oh. I'm gonna make this a little better. But first I need a couple of props. Recognize this? I'll need a pretty sizable amount. Along with a bear you don't mind getting dirty. Aw, you like that, Mr. Bear? Things are really getting messy over here. It's just the cutest stamp ever, right? But we just have to add a couple little details. And who doesn't love some flowers? Once it's all covered, stamp it! What a fun design! I guess I made the best out of a bad situation. Wow! Let me try that! Anything? Come on! There! This is actually pretty fun! Is there anything more classic than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This poppet was fun! Okay. How do I get the apple to shine? Not a bad start, right? I want to do this forever. Actually, nah. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here. What the? I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should've known it was you! 
Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. <gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it, either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait! Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! All right, class. Our next challenge is themed illusion. Now start getting creative. Okay, I think I know how to start. Oh, yes, I wish I felt inspired. A couple lines ought to work. And then I can just connect them. It's so easy, but it looks so cool. I am so gonna win this thing. All done! That's, uh, very nice. Check out what I drew! <laughs> I'm putting just a little more thought into mine. And it's all about the lines. Once I've made a complete square, I put lines at the top and bottom, then to the right, and left. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see, but it'll all make sense at the end. When you place lines a certain way, you can create all kinds of perspectives. Just have to keep following the pattern. And a little color will help, too. See how it just comes alive? Almost like you could jump inside! Let me try. Like this? Ah! Oh no! Hey! I can see you in there! Okay, I'm all finished! And here's a little bonus for ya! What's going on in there? Howdy! I'm in here now! <gasps> Let me see this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Get out! Wait! Careful! Get out! Get out! <gasps> you did it! Wait, what? I really liked it in there! Wait, where are you going? I don't want to get stuck in there! This looks so cute! Matthew will love it! Oh… Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Psst. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it! I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should've brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. I don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! What am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should have thought of this earlier. I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. Oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry. Okay, the next round! Wait, cover your eyes. Ooh, mysterious! Hehe, <laughs> I'm gonna surprise Ashley. 
Ugh, that's pretty gross. Ooh, and it smells awful. What's that smell? Sorry. Wait, Justin! I know what we can do! Check this out! I'll start by drawing a tree. Then some apples. Let's add some green leaves. I better stay in the lines. It's looking good! I'll add some dark green for the leaves. It just gives it texture. And of course, the trunk has to be brown. Using vertical pen strokes makes it look like wood. Then we'll color the apples red. They look so juicy! Ta-da! It's an apple tree! It's good, but it's not a real apple. <gasps> Justin, look! Whoa! That's so cool! Mmm, that's so tasty! Try one! I think I will! Think you could draw pizza? It's a heart this time! You'll need some more supplies! Go for it, girls! Look at all these pens! Wow! That's all I've got! Seriously? <laughs> Good luck! Oh! I have an idea! This will look amazing! I'll draw a giant heart! So far, so good! Now I'll draw a smaller heart inside! It's perfect! That's awful! Hey! Look at my drawing! That's nice. I suppose I better draw something. Hang on. I have an idea. I'll use the pen and the pencil at the same time. Now for the fun part. I'll draw lines across the center of the heart. That should do it. Now I'll add shading. I'll add thicker shading at parts to create shadows. This is going to plan! Now I'll cut it out around the top of the heart! Miss, miss! I finished! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's see your art. Ooh, very clever, Molly. I like it. Uh, Sarah? Where is your heart? It's over there! Oh! It's… it's like street art. Different approaches, but both excellent! I love them! Aw, thanks! Hmm. My crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing! Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What'd she write to me? Yep, I've got some feelings about this. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm in love. Wait. Just one last look. Yep. This guy is really something. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember! Such a sweetheart. Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower?! 
All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this. Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals. Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Oh. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist. These candies are my favorite. So fruity. The tropical flavors are definitely the better ones, I think. Wait a second. I have an idea. Let me pour some of these out of the bag. They're so colorful and pretty, too. I really love the pink. And now for some organization. I'll start with these blue ones. And here comes the pink. All right. They're all organized and ready for some magic. Yes! It worked! It turned into a poppet just like I hoped it would! Time for me to get poppin! Hey! What the heck? And what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing art! Oh, right. I forgot. Just got distracted by the poppet, I guess. Yes! I get to use hands this time! And both of them, too! <laughs> Now's my chance. Don't mind if I play with this a bit. Actually, I'm gonna use it for my artwork. I'll start with this paint. Okay, I'll just paint the insides of the poppet with this brush. I'm very excited to see how this turns out in the end. All right, now to do the same with the orange row of the poppet. Okay, that's done. Now let's give this a try. I'll have to flip over this poppet onto my paper. Now to start popping. Red, red, maybe this blue over here. Man, look at her using both hands like she's allowed to do. Wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, nose. You're gonna function as my paintbrush. Ooh, the paint is kind of chilly. Time to add some dots of paint to my paper with my nose. This is going well. Time to switch colors. Look! I made my poppet shapes with my nose! 
Yay! I made mine, too. It's pretty great, not gonna lie. Look at how perfect my dots are. Definitely better than yours. Whoa! The magic's back! Pop it, cookies! Don't mind if I do. Oh. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is so, so tasty. It definitely looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a bite, too. All right, my dear peasants. You'll stop talking soon. Once you see these royal jewels… So shiny! Draw it! I have this one in the bag! Drawing a crown's so easy. Even a monkey could do it. Oh, really? I'll show her how it's really done. It's all about the little details. And next, we move on to the jewels. Ruby red coming right up! But I could use a little realism. Good thing I never go anywhere without this thing. It's perfect! But it could use a little sparkle! Gold sparkle, of course! Don't worry, I have a plan! Let's go! You first! Alrighty! What do you think? It's so pretty, you can wear it! How did you do that? I love it! And now for yours, Ashley. Here's my crown! A little underwhelming, but this ought to help you out. Um, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> This is fun! Okay, roll them! Aw, I lost. Woohoo! It's my turn to spin! I wonder what we'll get. Ooh, a surprise! Whoa! There's so many things to choose from! Oh, I thought it was candy. What is it? You use it to draw. Ah, got you! Like this? Fun! What do you think? Uh, okay. Use it like this. It'll make a spiral. All you have to do is move the pen. The circles do the rest. I could do this all day. It looks so cool. Okay, let's try a different color. See? It's creating a different pattern. I don't need these anymore. Now that looks good! Whoa! It's so hypnotic… Ashley? Are you okay? Yoo-hoo! Hey, snap out of it! I know! This might be loud! Gah. This has to work! Seriously? I'm all out of ideas. Oh. This feather might be handy. Wakey wakey! Achoo! What happened? Oh yeah! My pretty circles! Uh, they look great! Can I spin the wheel? No. Wow, that's really stuck up there! That looks chewy! Uh-oh! Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh. Okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things. All my things are so boring. <laughs> it's not fair. What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? 
Upgrade your pens with a simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen, then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now, pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. And screw on the nib. No more boring pens! Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow! You're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive! How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job! I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks! Best day! I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. Hmm. <gasps> I know. Oh, yes? Remember what we talked about? Uh-huh. Yep. I'm coming. Who on earth is that? Got here as fast as I could. She sure is pretty. Hi! Here's your inspiration, guys. Now we're talking. Mine's gonna be quite literal. There it is. Uh, Nick? Anybody home? <laughs> there you go. Ugh, so many girls. I know. I'll draw straight from the heart. <laughs> Are these just doodles, Nick? <laughs> Her hair is so long and blue. And what a beautiful tail she has. Such a good swimmer. I guess it's good. You can tell it's a fish, right? <laughs> Thanks for the quick swap, bro. <sighs> All done. Isn't it stunning? <gasps> Unbelievable! Oh no! I can't show her this! Ah, uh, yep. It's a fish. Uh, I mean, we've seen better. Yeah, mermaids are way prettier. Huh, we've got a piece of paper. Oh, something's happening! Here comes the magic again! Look, it's an ice cream cone! How cute! It looks pretty tasty, too. I wish I had a real ice cream cone. Ooh, no kidding! Hey, let me see that over here. This'll be a fun one. Aw, no hands again? That's a huge bummer. Okay, I've got my one hand and a paintbrush. Ready to dab it into the paint. I think I'll start with red. Mm, gonna paint this ice cream. Gonna have a good time. I'm just adding different colors and dots on my picture. I've got red, yellow, blue, and mostly white. And now I'm gonna add some water and let them blend together. Mm, look at her doing all the painting over there. I better get started. Guess there's nothing to do but use my mouth. I could totally do this like this. Okay, just gotta start adding some dots on this paper. I need some of this color now, too. Maybe I'll add some of this color here. <gasps> oh no! This is just turning out terribly! Well, I guess this is what I came up with. Ta-da! Are these just colorful? I've got that going for me anyway. I'm done with my ice cream cone, too. See? The blending technique I used turned out great! I love it! Whoa! It turned into a real ice cream! Just like we were hoping it would! Looks so much like the ice cream cone I painted, too! Time to give this a taste. I hope it's good. It is. It's very good. I bet you're wishing you had an ice cream cone, too.
What do you think we're gonna get this time? It's so exciting! Oh my gosh! Look! It's a cute little frog! Look at him just hopping around, doing his little ribbits! Well, I'm definitely ready to make some artwork featuring a frog. Wow! Me too! I love frogs and toads. Let me get my paper ready. Yes! Two hands this time! And you get one again! Looks like I'm gonna use this fine tip marker for this one. I'm gonna start by making two halves of hearts like this. I'll connect them underneath like this. And then above with an arc. Look at his cute little fingers. So adorable! I drew his eyes so now I need to start coloring him in. I've gotta use green, of course. He's a respectable frog. Ha! I get to use both hands and I'm gonna! I should be able to get it done twice as fast because, well, two hands. It's turning out great! This is a fantastic strategy! She was right about the little fingers and toes. Those are definitely the cutest. All right, the outline is complete. Time to start coloring him in. This is definitely going nice and fast. Though it's maybe not as delicate. Gotta go faster! Whoa! I've got smoke over here! Ah! <gasps> what the heck? How did you start a fire over there? Yikes. Well, I guess I'm done with my froggy picture. <laughs> I was just coloring too fast, it seems. <laughs> well, my frog picture didn't catch fire, and here it is. Isn't it cute? Oh, what's that? It's a gummy frog! It must have come from my amazing picture! Time to shake the picture! Shake, 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 shake! <laughs> wow! That's a lot of gummy frogs! Oh my gosh, it smells so good! Like melon! I'm gonna take a bite of this one. I can't wait any longer. Wow, it's great. I just really love gummy foods. Whoa! What the heck are you doing? Shouldn't you slow down? No! Oh, I love them too much to slow down! Spinner drawing challenge? Meow! We love cats! They're simply the cutest! <coughs> Girls, we're drawing, remember? Should I make mine a tabby? Sit still, okay, little guy? Is this even accurate? Now we're talking. I want my proportions to be right. It's still not right. These can work. Just need a pinch of fur. Good thing I'm wearing goggles. Let me look at my calculations. Yep. Just as I thought. What's Annie doing over there? The results are in. It's what I suspected all along. No more science. It's time to get artsy in here. Time's up already? Show us what you got, girls. Don't be shy. Very nice, Madison! Could you please? That is really good! I'll show you how to do it! You don't see that every day. Start with the word cat. Then build off the letters. You can add colorful details, too. Don't forget his little face. And some stripes look good, too. They kind of look alike, don't they? This is fun! Okay, roll them! Aw, I lost. Woohoo! It's my turn to spin! I wonder what we'll get. Ooh, a surprise! Whoa! There's so many things to choose from! Oh, I thought it was candy. What is it? You use it to draw. Ah, got you! Like this? It's fun! What do you think? Uh, okay. Use it like this. It'll make a spiral. All you have to do is move the pen. The circles do the rest. I could do this all day. It looks so cool. Okay, let's try a different color. See? It's creating a different pattern. I don't need these anymore. Now that looks good. Whoa! 
It's so hypnotic. Ashley? Are you okay? Yoo-hoo! Hey, snap out of it! I know! This might be loud! Ugh. This has to work! Seriously? I'm all out of ideas. Oh. This feather might be handy. Wakey-wakey! Achoo! What happened? Oh yeah! My pretty circles! Uh, they look great! Can I spin the wheel? No, it's my turn. Aww. Go on. Settle it with a thumb more? Let's go! This could take a while. Stop! Why don't we both spin it? Good idea! Oh! Sup? This is gonna be epic! Wait, where are we? Maybe we should go. Wow! My first tattoo! Whoa! You're eager! Let's do this! Are you crazy? This is gonna look sick! <laughs> it tickles! Wow! Look at that! That's some of my best work. Uh, th that's different. I love it! Keep that away from me! Mommy, save me! Your turn, bro. No way! I'll just use this printout instead. I'll cut the butterfly out of the paper. Then I'll put it face down on my wrist. I need some aftershave to wet it. Now I'll press it against my skin. A pain-free tattoo. It suits me, wow! Ah, uh, no. I feel so pretty! My nails look amazing! Hmm, getting the right skill is tricky. But it's fun. Yeah, sure. What is that? It's my ship. Whatever. Let me focus on my nails. That's fine. I need to finish this. Oh no! My pencil! And I don't have a sharpener. Oh, what'll I do now? What's wrong? My pencil snapped and I can't sharpen it. Uh, take this! Oh, okay. How does that feel? No! Use it on your pencil! Oh, right. I see. I'll run the pencil over the nail file. It's working! Look! Now I can finish my drawing! I told you! I have an idea. I'll draw you! Wait, I've been working on some poses. <clears throat> How's that? Uh, awful. Oh, I know! Go over there! Okay. Ready? That's more like it. I feel so glamorous. Put your hand on your head. Like this? That's it. Wonderful. How much longer? Hey! Ugh. I'm awake! What do you think? Uh, yeah. Good effort. This is my best work yet. Your next challenge is to draw a unicorn! Yes! I love unicorns! That's like a horse, right? I'm awful at drawing animals. Psst. What? Check this out. So much cash! It's yours if you draw my unicorn. Sarah! No! Draw it yourself! It's your loss. I'm gonna fail this round. That seems a little dramatic. I know a good hack for this. I'll place my hand on the paper and draw around it. Now I'll fill it in. It's such an easy way to draw a unicorn. I'll color it in now. Pink is the perfect color for a unicorn. Aw, it's so cute! I'll add more color to the horn. That was so quick! It's all done! Aw, look at it! Why are you so happy? Hmm, this gives me an idea. 
I can just copy Molly. But I'll make mine a rich unicorn. This makes the perfect horn. Good art costs money. What do you think? Seriously? It's the exact same as mine! Uh, no. Mine costs more. Yoo-hoo, teacher! Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Well done, both of you! I'm an artist! Fine. I'll let you have this one. Oops. I don't wanna eat out of the trough. I do like mud wraps. Oh, this field is so nice! Look at the lambs! Come, let's frolic together! Uh, look, Clover. Oh my gosh, you are the cutest lamb I've ever seen! Oh my goodness, it's starting to rain! These raindrops are coins! I feel so inspired by all of this! Ow! What the? Geez, she totally smacked me right in my face. Now I gotta try to get back to sleep. Oh, gotta get rich from the rain. Gotta catch it all. Catch the money. <laughs> nah. What the heck is she even doing over there? Wake up! Stop! You're kicking and smacking me! Oh my goodness! I was dreaming! How strange! Wait, I remember being so inspired in that field! I have to make some art! And now I just need a coin, like from the rain in the dream. I've got my marker, so now it's time to start making some art. I've got the coin on the canvas, and now I need to draw around it. I'll add three more in the middle and then connect them. This will be my sheep face. His little nose and mouth are so cute! Now let's add some very cute rosy cheeks. <gasps> so cute! I'm so happy with this artwork! Come on, get back here. I need to auction this artwork. Who would like to bid on this wonderful flock of sheep? Oh yes, I absolutely need that artwork for my office. I will offer $100,000. Oh my wow, that's so much money. Oh yes. Sold to the man in the hat and vest. Ugh, none of this art is working at all. It's total absolute garbage. Ugh. It doesn't even make sense. This place is so inspirational. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. Indeed. Oh, I think I have an idea about what to do. Paint me. Uh, no, no thank you. I don't want that. Hmm, I see. Well, you do you then. Huh, I think she's too good to paint my portrait. Whoa, look, a guy just appeared over there. Hello. Yes, I used my magic to appear here. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Wait, I've got something for you. Alakazam. There, see? A treasure chest. <laughs> Are you ready to see what's inside? Ta-da! There's a robot and a doll inside. So cute. There we go. Hello, Mr. Robot. Hello, Dolly. Oh, I feel so inspired by this interaction. The drama. The love. Oh my goodness, they're going to kiss. <gasps> the inspiration is striking. I'll draw a heart across my fingers like this. I'll have to fill it in too, so it looks pretty. Can't forget to color the other side and finger as well. All right, let's use the black and add some dots up here and smiles and arms. Aw, so cute. They love each other. They're totally hugging each other and are so happy together. Look. Huh? Oh, they are very cute. That's very nice. Thanks. I felt inspired by the love in the air. Okay, I feel inspired to create my own artwork now. I'll draw a heart using both a pencil and a fine tip marker. And now I need to add little lines at the top and bottom. Next up, shading in with a pencil. I want the shading darker in the middle but lighter on top. Now I'll need to use this ruler to draw a straight line across. The lines in the ruler can work as a guide for this knife. I gotta cut along this top line. Now I need to cut up here on the top of the heart. That's one half done and now for the other side. Okay, now I can slide away this top paper part. Time to add some shading down here for shadow. It doesn't need to be a lot, just a little will work. I'll bend it a bit together with this blender too, so it's soft. There we go, it's looking so nice and smooth. Look, I'm done with mine now too. It's a pretty little heart, what do you think? No way, it looks 3D. You should definitely show the magic guy. Wait, where did he go? He's totally vanished. <sighs> First he appeared out of nowhere, and now he's disappeared. Eh, it's fine. All right, here we go for the next challenge. Oh, it's a bunch of paint with makeup blenders. They're so squishy. Hmm, maybe I should check my makeup. Ooh, I could definitely use some touching up. Yeah, me too, Sky. Oh look, the wheel! 
Look! It stopped on the beauty blender! Yay! And we've got these long canvases to work on! All right, those are ready to go. Now for the hands! Oh man! No hands for either of us this time! Time for paint! Ow! My head! Ouch! Okay, we gotta be more careful. All right, I've got some yellow on my blender. And now I'll dab it onto my canvas and try to get a straight line. I think I'll start with this light blue. And now to start painting onto this end of my canvas. Now I need to add some orange to the yellow I've already put down. Time for some light pink now. I'll put it on this side of the blue. I'm gonna need this pretty sea green color. This is kind of fun, right, Lexi? Okay, back to work. I need some of that green right in this area. I gotta keep blending these pinks together. Yes! My ombre effect totally worked out great! Wow, it's so beautiful! And serene, too! Phew! I'm finished, too! That was a lot of work. Whoa, that's way different than what I made. Wow. Well, did you see what I did? Lexi? Look at mine! Yeah, yeah, it's great, Sky. I just… Whoa! How, how did you even do all of that? Yeah, thanks. It totally turned out just like I pictured in my head. Well, now I don't know how I feel about mine. Listen, don't be sad. We can zazz yours up. We'll use this daisy. We'll just put it face down on your canvas. And now we'll get some white paint on the beauty blender. Time to put some of this white paint on the edges of the petals. Oh, wow! Let's do another one up here. Wow, Sky, You made it even better! I love mine now! Look at the patterns the petals made! They're so pretty! You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. You press the button this time, Sky. Okay, there's the wheel. Let's see what we get for this challenge. <laughs> a unicorn! Aren't you totally excited? Whoa, this is a new one. You've got to wear a blindfold, Lexi. Well, if I'm gonna be blindfolded, I'm at least gonna be a unicorn, too. Yes! We're decorating unicorn-shaped cookies! How fun! Ooh, aprons again. Okay, well, I guess I better pull down my blindfold now. Sky, where'd you go? Are you over here? What's that over there? Yes! There's her cookie! I'm gonna take it! And time for a snack! Lexi, I really don't think there's anything over there to see. Wait a second. What happened to my cookie? It's gone! It's missing? Where did it go? I couldn't see a thing, of course. Yeah, I guess it's a mystery. I'll just get a new cookie. But I'm gonna keep my eye on Lexi. All right, we better start decorating these cookies! <sighs> okay, Lexi, I'll help you out to start. This is your white frosting. Thanks, Sky. I'd better get started. I think this will be hard. I'm gonna start by outlining the cookie shape. There we go. And now I can start filling it in with more white. Okay, I think this is going well. I bet it looks great! Wow, this is really turning out lovely, I think. Just a bit more and done! All of the cookie is covered! Now I'm gonna use this paintbrush and some gold frosting paint. I'll put some down on the bottom and also up here on the ears. Okay, I can't forget the horn either. Now I need to add some eyes for my unicorn. I need to use some of this red frosting now. She needs little heart-shaped nostrils. So cute! I think I'm pretty good at this, actually. Okay, I need this color. What color is it? I don't know. But my unicorn needs eyes! And then color change again. Gotta do the nostrils so he can breathe. Very important. <laughs> I just know this is turning out amazing! Yay! I'm done! How about you, Sky? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! This is not what I expected at all! Well, I was blindfolded, so it is what it is, I guess. I just want to give his nose a little smooch! He is cute, and you're right! Smooch is forever! At least I've got my own horn. Is there anything more classic than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This puppet was fun! Okay, how do I get the apple to shine? It's not a bad start, right? I want to do this forever! Actually, nah. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here. What the? <sighs> I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! 
Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should've known it was you! Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. <gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it, either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait! Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! That! Wait, what's that? Oh! It looks so cuddly! There's a tiny draft, too! This one's mine! Aww! Okay, I guess this little guy's mine. Heh, <laughs> my draft is much better. Okay, don't move. I need to draw you. So far, so good. What are you doing? I'm examining the draft. Oh, good idea. Hmm. I wonder how Justin's doing. Pretty realistic, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Jerry. It doesn't look like a giraffe. This is gonna be tricky. It's all about getting the right scale. Hang on! I have an idea! I'll place my hand like this and then draw around it. I'll add a face. And now it's a giraffe! Let's color it in! This brown is the perfect color. And I can color the rest yellow. Careful! I don't want to make any mistakes now. Now for the neck. That's it! I'm glad I thought of that. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. You can have this! Thank you! This looks so cute! Matthew will love it! Oh. Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it! I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should've brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. I don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! <gasps> what am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should've thought of this earlier! I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. I'm sorry. Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. 
Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use! That's a start! Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch! Hey! I can use that ribbon! That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Uh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook. Open the back cover. And start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbon. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box! Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. Alright, let's see what happens when I paint this paintbrush with a… well, paintbrush. I'll just do stripes in different colors on the bristles. It's almost like a rainbow. Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand. Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… 
Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh! All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of pain left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you. Ugh, I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Oh. Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful. And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own. It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life. Along with the outline of the wings. Other side. There. Just admire this pure beauty. And that's just the beginning, son. Alright, let's go! Oh wait, after you, of course. Wait, we'll go together. Time to see what the wheel is gonna pick! Ooh! A smiley emoji! Oh, really? Yes! I get to use one hand, and you get to use zero! Ha! Now let's see what the magic gets us. Wait, squeeze bottles? You know what, Sky? Let's get some aprons for this challenge. Okay, now we're ready to do this one! Maybe I can make the wheel change to something else. Come on, come on, come on! Please! Oh my gosh! It totally worked! I can't believe it! And now I get to do an ice cream instead. Okay, that circle works. And now I better start with some eyes. He needs some eyebrows too, I think. Okay, that should be enough for this one. On to blue! I'll draw these tears and then fill them in with the blue. This is working okay, I think. There goes all the batter. It's starting to work. Now under the red. Just gotta give it a squeeze. Just gotta get it along the blue like this. Not bad, all things considered. Alright, onto the yellow. Can't have a smiley without yellow. I've just gotta fill in all the space with this color now. Gotta make sure each little area has color in it. Just a little bit more. And there! Time to flip it! Oh my gosh! Look at how good this is turning out! Oh no, I got a tickle in my nose. This is bad. I can't! Oh no, the lip came right off! Oh, it made a huge crash! Oh, yeah, that's a rough turn, Sky. Sorry. Whatever, it's fine. I guess I'm done now. Well, here, maybe I can use the spatula to help you out a bit. I'll just push it a little over here. It's not like it can get any worse, I guess. There, see? That's better, right? Yeah, it is. Thanks, I guess. Yeesh, she's so grumpy right now. But hey, take a look at how mine turned out. Isn't it cute? Okay, I'll press the button this time. I wonder what it's going to land on this time. 
Ooh, a tree! I didn't expect that at all! Wait, I got no hands again? Let's see what the magic gives us for this challenge. Oh, I guess we've got a bottle of ink and a… straw? Well, guess I should get started. Time for you to show off your stuff, elbows! Great job! Now let's open the bottle of ink! Yes! Okay, good thing straws are actually made for the mouth. Alright, now I need to use this to get some ink, I guess. Oh, it's working! What the heck am I supposed to do with this straw? Oh no! She's drinking it! Stop! That's ink, not soda! Uh, what? Oh, phew! I thought you were drinking it! I'm drawing the only way I can. Just gotta keep blowing this ink in the direction I wanted to go. Wow! That's turning out amazing! I can't believe you can do all of that with a straw in your mouth! Ugh! Why isn't this working? Maybe I just have to blow even harder into the straw. Come on! Come on, you dumb ink! Phew! Wait, what's on my face? Aw, I got splattered with ink! What's she crying about over there? Ugh, she's a total mess. Wait! Huh? Stop! Why? Look! I've got this pink paint! I'll just squeeze a line of this paint out. And now for another color, too. Okay, I've got my paint lines. Now I need a cotton swab. I'll dab it in this light pink color. Now watch! I'll just dab it again, but on your black inky branches. See? It looks like flowers! Like little buds that have opened in the spring! Look at how great this is turning out! Isn't it beautiful? Wow! You really helped make my tree even more special! I'm so glad we worked on this together! Me too! It's lovely! Okay, are you ready, Ashley? Can I go first, please? Sure, go for it. Thanks! This is so exciting! It's the bunny! See? Are you serious? It's the cat! No! No way! It's the bunny! Stop it! You're mean! I'm only following the rules. If you want to play that way, bring it on. Let's do this. I've been training for this my whole life. Come at me. Ugh, my nose! Oh, I need to do something! That's it! I, I give up! Oh, give me that! Watch this! I'll draw some S shapes on the paper, then join them up. This is gonna be so cute! Can't forget two smiling faces! It's a bunny and a cat! But they need some color. They look so happy! It's so easy to draw this! I'm almost finished! Justin, look at this! They're hugging! Whoa! It's a cat! It's amazing! Aw, it's so adorable! Take that! Wait, what's that? Oh! It looks so cuddly! There's a tiny draft, too! This one's mine! Aww! Okay, I guess this little guy's mine. Heh, <laughs> my draft is much better. Okay, don't move. I need to draw you. So far, so good. What are you doing? I'm examining the draft. Oh, good idea. Hmm. I wonder how Justin's doing. Pretty realistic, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Jerry. It doesn't look like a draft. This is gonna be tricky. It's all about getting the right scale. Hang on. I have an idea. I'll place my hand like this and then draw around it. I'll add a face. And now it's a draft. Let's color it in. This brown is the perfect color. And I can color the rest yellow. Careful. I don't want to make any mistakes now. Now for the neck. That's it. I'm glad I thought of that. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. You can have this. Thank you. Okay, the next round. Wait, cover your eyes. Ooh, mysterious. 
<laughs> I'm gonna surprise Ashley. Ugh, that's pretty gross. Ooh, and it smells awful. What's that smell? Sorry. Wait, Justin! I know what we can do! Check this out! I'll start by drawing a tree. Then some apples. Let's add some green leaves. I better stay in the lines. It's looking good! I'll add some dark green for the leaves. It just gives it texture. And of course, the trunk has to be brown. Using vertical pen strokes makes it look like wood. Then we'll color the apples red. They look so juicy! Ta-da! It's an apple tree! It's good, but it's not a real apple. <gasps> Justin, look! Whoa! That's so cool! Mmm, that's so tasty! Try one! I think I will! Think you could draw pizza? One, two, go! Oh, close! I'll solve this with a spin of the wheel. Who was that? Oh, that was so weird. Oh, look at the wheel! What? Oh, wow! This might be tricky. Mmm, stop! What? Let's make it interesting. One, two, three, go! This is tense! Oh no! My pencil! It's okay, I have another! This isn't going well. Oh, come on! Huh? Oh, unlucky. I don't have time for this! Uh, this is taking too long! Uh, I need to hurry! Time's almost up! Ugh, get out of here! Hey, keep your garbage away from my art. Although, this might be useful. I'll start by drawing a ballerina. This'll look great. She looks so graceful. And I'll use the pencil shavings as the tutu. I'm really happy with this. Hey, Ashley. What do you think? Mm, I wasted so much time! But I can still finish my drawing! Just give me a moment! Ugh, careful! Okay, that's it! What do you think? It's good, isn't it? Great job! Look at the timer! We did it! Put it there. Well done! All right, let's go! Oh wait, after you, of course. Wait, we'll go together. Time to see what the wheel is gonna pick! Ooh, a smiley emoji! Oh, really? Yes! I get to use one hand, and you get to use zero! Ha! Now let's see what the magic gets us. Wait, squeeze bottles? You know what, Sky? Let's get some aprons for this challenge. Okay, now we're ready to do this one! Maybe I can make the wheel change to something else. Come on, come on, come on! Please! Oh my gosh! It totally worked! I can't believe it! And now I get to do an ice cream instead. Okay, that circle works. And now I better start with some eyes. He needs some eyebrows too, I think. Okay, that should be enough for this one. On to blue! I'll draw these tears and then fill them in with the blue. This is working okay, I think. There goes all the batter. It's starting to work. Now under the red. Just gotta give it a squeeze. Just gotta get it along the blue like this. Not bad, all things considered. All right, on to the yellow. Can't have a smiley without yellow. I've just gotta fill in all the space with this color now. Gotta make sure each little area has color in it. Just a little bit more. And there! Time to flip it! Oh my gosh! Look at how good this is turning out! Oh no, I got a tickle in my nose. This is bad. I can't! Oh no, the lip came right off! Oh, it made a huge crash! Oh, yeah, that's a rough turn, Sky. Sorry. Whatever, it's fine. I guess I'm done now. 
Well, here. Maybe I can use the spatula to help you out a bit. I'll just push it a little over here. It's not like it can get any worse, I guess. There, see? That's better, right? Yeah, it is! <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Yeesh, she's so grumpy right now. But hey, take a look at how mine turned out. Isn't it cute? All right, here we go for the next challenge! Oh, it's a bunch of paint with makeup blenders! They're so squishy. Hmm, maybe I should check my makeup. Ooh, I could definitely use some touching up. Yeah, me too, Sky. Oh look! The wheel! Look! It stopped on the beauty blender! Yay! And we've got these long canvases to work on! Alright, those are ready to go. Now for the hands! Oh man! No hands for either of us this time! Time for paint! Ow! My head! Ouch! Okay, we gotta be more careful. Alright, I've got some yellow on my blender. And now I'll dab it onto my canvas and try to get a straight line. I think I'll start with this light blue. And now to start painting onto this end of my canvas. Now I need to add some orange to the yellow I've already put down. Time for some light pink now. I'll put it on this side of the blue. I'm gonna need this pretty sea green color. This is kinda fun, right, Lexi? Okay, back to work. I need some of that green right in this area. I gotta keep blending these pinks together! Yes! My ombre effect totally worked out great! Wow, it's so beautiful! And serene, too! Phew! I'm finished, too! That was a lot of work. Whoa! That's way different than what I made. Wow. Well, did you see what I did? Lexi? Look at mine! Yeah, yeah, it's great, Sky. I just… Whoa! How, how did you even do all of that? Yeah, thanks. It totally turned out just like I pictured in my head. Well, now I don't know how I feel about mine. Listen, don't be sad. We can zazz yours up. We'll use this daisy. We'll just put it face down on your canvas. And now we'll get some white paint on the beauty blender. Time to put some of this white paint on the edges of the petals. Oh, wow! Let's do another one up here. Wow, Sky, You made it even better! I love mine now! Look at the patterns the petals made! They're so pretty! You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. One, two, go! Oh, close! I'll solve this with a spin of the wheel. Who was that? Oh, that was so weird. Oh, look at the wheel! What? Oh, wow! This might be tricky. Mmm, stop! What? Let's make it interesting. One, two, three, go! This is tense. Oh no! My pencil! It's okay, I have another. This isn't going well. Oh, come on! Huh? Oh, unlucky. I don't have time for this! Uh, this is taking too long! Uh, I need to hurry! Time's almost up! Ugh, get out of here! Hey, keep your garbage away from my art! Although, this might be useful. I'll start by drawing a ballerina. This'll look great! She looks so graceful. And I'll use the pencil shavings as the tutu. I'm really happy with this. Hey, Ashley! What do you think? Mm, I wasted so much time! But I can still finish my drawing! Just give me a moment! Ugh, careful! Okay, that's it! What do you think? It's good, isn't it? Great job! Look at the timer! We did it! Put it there. Well done! Maybe if I add a little more here. Or some shading. Oh, I can't believe I'm late! Gabby! Huh? Hi there! Sorry, may I? Okay. Thank you! <laughs> what did I miss? Attention. Okay, class. Time to go! Hear you loud and clear! Jeez. I think I can make one of those. But not with paint. Gotta work with this. 
Challenge accepted. Ooh! Hope I brought enough supplies. Huh? Huh? Show! Oh! Excuse me. Wait a minute. Look! It's an eraser! But what can I do with that? Look at all of his supplies! He's got a million brushes! And I've got zero. Huh? Let me think here. Ahem. Do you mind sharing some stuff? What? Mine? Uh-huh. Paint? I don't think so. Oh, he's so selfish. Guess I'm on my own here. But I have a brilliant idea. Don't mind me. Teacher's not looking, right? Oh, good. I'll take this. What else is in this thing? Nothing. Bingo! Paint, baby! Now to get back to my desk! He's already halfway done! <sighs> Let's start with some red, shall we? And without brushes, fingers it is! But fingers can give a lot of cool texture. Can you tell it's a parrot yet? These thick strokes look like feathers. It's really coming together, see? It's just so realistic looking! <sighs> All right, brushes down, class. Justin, ready? I know, it's really good. Um, well, it's okay, Justin. Let's see yours, Gabby. I improvised. No brushes necessary. <sighs> I can't believe my eyes! That's incredible! Bravo, Gabby! Oh yeah? Thank you! Mm, no hard feelings? There you go! Perks of being an artist, huh? I think I can work with these today. Orange and green. Mmm, no. Not good. Whoa! They're a brilliant shade of yellow! <sighs> this seems like a good spot. Such beauty! I have to get her attention! Perfect! But these flowers aren't mine. Of course! I can just buy one over there! But they don't come cheap, do they? Ugh. I've got nothing! I am a starving artist, after all. Anything in here? Just tons of paint! Guess that's it! Unless… This may be all I need! Women love flowers, right? Even if they're just painted on a page. Layer the colors with your fingers, and you can make some stellar designs. Check out these unique strokes. Now for the white in the middle. And just a speck of yellow. The green makes it really pop. This may be my best piece yet. Here goes nothing. For you. They're almost as gorgeous as you. Wow! Aww. This is for me? Of course. Thank you. You have to tell me how you did this. Well, I guess this is where we are now. So, let's see what's up. Hey, how are you? We haven't talked in forever. <sighs> Might as well work on my manicure, I guess. Huh? Finally! Something's happening! Look at that light! Something alien and UFO-y is going on. Exciting! This is so cool. I can't wait to see what happens next. Wait, I got stuck with no hands? Come on, that's not fair! I got one hand, and I'm totally okay with that. Time to start drawing my little alien guy! There's his head. Now to work on his body. Can't be a little alien dude without any arms. Two, of course. And then down to his little sticky legs. Now to add some details. He needs to have his typical big black eyes. And a little nose and mouth, too. Now to get him up and moving. 
Ugh, she totally makes it look so easy with her one hand she can use. Oh my gosh, it's an actual alien right here next to me! He's doing something with my plate and a marker. Hmm, let's see what he did. Looks like he tried to draw an alien. Hey! Mr. Alien Dude! Check out what I did on my plate! See? I can make him dance when the water moves. Man, he's got some great moves if I say so myself. Do you love it? I bet you totally love it. Yes! He loves it! Whoa! Look at that amazing space cake! Wow! He's putting it by me! I guess I get it. Here, you can have this. This might be the best cake I've ever seen! Uh-huh. She gets a cake and I get what? Nothing, I guess. Other than just this alien scribble on my plate. Hey! What about my plate? Don't you want this one too? Maybe in exchange for a cake? No? What the heck? You're the one who drew it! Can't believe this. Mmm. This looks great. I'm going in for a bite. Hi. Oh, mmm. That is one delicious space cake. I'm definitely glad that I won this one. These candies are my favorite. So fruity. The tropical flavors are definitely the better ones, I think. Wait a second. I have an idea. Let me pour some of these out of the bag. They're so colorful and pretty, too. I really love the pink. And now for some organization. I'll start with these blue ones. And here comes the pink. All right. They're all organized and ready for some magic. Yes! It worked! It turned into a poppet just like I hoped it would. Time for me to get poppin'. Hey! What the heck? And what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing art. Oh, right. I forgot. Just got distracted by the poppet, I guess. Yes! I get to use hands this time! And both of them, too! <laughs> Now's my chance. Don't mind if I play with this a bit. Actually, I'm gonna use it for my artwork. I'll start with this paint. Okay, I'll just paint the insides of the poppet with this brush. I'm very excited to see how this turns out in the end. All right, now to do the same with the orange row of the poppet. Okay, that's done. Now let's give this a try. I'll have to flip over this poppet onto my paper. Now to start popping. Red, red, maybe this blue over here. Man, look at her using both hands like she's allowed to do. Wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, nose. You're gonna function as my paintbrush. Ooh, the paint is kinda chilly. Time to add some dots of paint to my paper with my nose. This is going well. Time to switch colors. Look, I made my poppet shapes with my nose. Yay! I made mine, too. It's pretty great, not gonna lie. Look at how perfect my dots are. Definitely better than yours. Whoa! The magic's back! Poppet cookies! Don't mind if I do. Mmm. Oh. oh, wow. This is so, so tasty. Definitely looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a bite, too. Whoa! Are you seeing this light right here? Ooh, looks like we've got boxes this time. I'm gonna take this one. No way! Look what was in mine! Cans of spray paint! I wonder what's in mine? I can't tell just by shaking. I'll open it. Wow! It's a whole box full of new colored pencils! I love them! Oh! Look! Another little box! What do you think's inside? I'll open it and find out. Huh. That's not what I expected. It's a gummy eyeball. So squishy. Okay, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. Mmm, that's very tasty. And chewy. I love it. Wow, that was a really good snack. I wish I had even more to eat. Hey, look! We both get to use hands this time! All right, I've got my gloves and I'm ready to make some art. I'm gonna start with this blue color and make a splotch in the middle. Now I'll use this glass as a guide for the white paint. There. Now we've got a perfect blue circle. Next up, I need this plate. I'll put it face down on the paper. Time to break out the black spray paint now. Okay, I need a little black in the middle for a pupil, because it's an eye. I'm ready with my pencils and my one hand. Here I go! Time to draw an eye with my single hand. This is going pretty good so far. And I think I'm done! Ta-da! My happy little face is done! Whoa! How the heck did you do that? What? My cute little eye? Didn't it turn out fantastic? No way! The magic turned my picture into another gummy eyeball! Except it's a huge one! No way! What the heck? That's gigantic! Can I have it? Uh, no way. This belongs to me. Now excuse me. I need to eat my giant eyeball. <sighs> Man. Though I guess I didn't give her any of my cake. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh, another one? They keep coming! sure is dark in here. I'm so scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! Help! 
What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night! Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? Ah! It's back! I need help! Please, help! What? Over there! Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights off! Huh? What is that thing? A monster? Oh, okay, stop teasing me already. I feel so much better now. Monster free's the way to be! Okay, guys, it's picnic time! Just eat your pretend food. Ugh, I'm bored. Ooh, sissy's phone! Uh, but I can't open the thing. I know. All I need is her face. Easy. Don't wake up. Face, please! I won't work without her eyeballs. This tape seems pretty strong. Just gotta open those lids without her waking up. Can't forget about the other one. Hey, <laughs> there they are. Time to unlock this bad boy once and for all. Anything? Uh, still not working, huh? If only your face looked more natural. Come on, close! What's wrong with that thing? Now stay shut, will ya? Just stop moving! Okay, this definitely isn't working. Wait a minute. I can use this clear piece of paper. Just gonna rest it on her face. And trace over her entire face. The phone recognizes the general shapes of the face, after all. Hey, at least she's staying still. Just gotta get the jawline right. Perfection! A masterpiece! Gah! Can I help you? Why does this look so familiar? <sighs> if you really want to draw a face, use a photo! Off! I'll show you how to do this right. First, you have to assemble your writing utensils. Make something that looks like an H. See? It's ready. Begin tracing the face like so. And the other side will draw the same thing. It just follows the movement. See? It's totally effortless. No fancy art training necessary. Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Like looking in the mirror. Hey! It worked! See ya! Whatever you do, don't read my text! Or look through my camera roll! Final drawing challenge! Ta-da! A rabbit! Yee! Bunnies are so cute! This is the best challenge! Let's get started! Bunny, bunny, bunny! Gonna draw the best one! I need a circle up here and the number two down here. I line on the right and time to draw the ears. These eyes need pupils and eyelashes. A bunny nose and bunny mouth. So cute! Now for the body. Can't forget the tail and feet. Bunnies need something to munch on. A giant carrot just for you, bunny! Now you look like a happy bunny! How to draw a bunny? Oh, I know. What? No fair! My leg broke! Good thing I have another pencil. This one broke too! Come on! Oh, this is so frustrating! Okay. <sighs> Calm down, Annie. Just use the big pencil. No way this pencil lead will break! Time to draw the best bunny! I knew big pencil was the solution! And time's up! Reveal your drawings! Bummer! I didn't get a chance to finish mine! Alright. Annie and Madison, what did you draw? 
Addison! Excellent bunny! Annie? What is that? That's not a bunny! <laughs> Whoa! Ouch! Ow! My head! That's what you get for laughing at my art! Oh, whatever. At least my bunny is safe. Almost done stacking my foods. No! It's falling! Shoot! I'm so bad at this. Wait, is that paint up there? Yeah! It is paint! And an easel! She left them out. I'm gonna do some art. Is she around? I don't wanna get caught. Nope. The door's shut. Time for painting. I like this pink color. It's pretty. I'm so good at painting. The best, even. All right. Got the supplies I need. What? The heck? Hi! Look! I'm painting! Isn't it good? Um, sure. I guess so. What am I gonna do? He's already ruined the canvas? Yes! I think I've got a solution! All right. I've got the canvas. A perfect A. Time for some paint. I'll use the color he used. Blue over here. I need more blue and some yellow. All the colors! Time to do some cleaning with the sponge. Just kidding. This is part of the art. I want to use the sponge to dab at all the paint colors. It's okay if I get some on the tape. Turns out doing this dabbing is pretty fun. But it's not really all that quick. Not if you want to do it well, anyway. Phew! There we go! I finally covered the canvas with all the paint! Here I go! Pulling off the tape! It comes right off! Wow! It looks amazing! It turned out great! Wow! That's amazing! You're so good at painting! Do one for me! Well, I guess this is where we are now. So, let's see what's up. Hey, how are you? We haven't talked in forever. <sighs> Might as well work on my manicure, I guess. Huh? Finally! Something's happening! Look at that light! Something alien and UFO-y is going on! Exciting! This is so cool! I can't wait to see what happens next! Wait, I got stuck with no hands? Come on, that's not fair! I got one hand, and I'm totally okay with that! Time to start drawing my little alien guy! There's his head! Now to work on his body! Can't be a little alien dude without any arms! Two, of course! And then down to his little sticky legs! Now to add some details! He needs to have his typical big black eyes! And a little nose and mouth, too! Now to get him up and moving! Ugh, she totally makes it look so easy with her one hand she can use. Oh my gosh, it's an actual alien right here next to me! He's doing something with my plate and a marker. Hmm, let's see what he did. Looks like he tried to draw an alien. Hey, Mr. Alien Dude! Check out what I did on my plate! See? I can make him dance when the water moves! Man, he's got some great moves if I say so myself! Do you love it? I bet you totally love it. Yes! He loves it! Whoa! Look at that amazing space cake! Wow! He's putting it by me! I guess I get it! Here, you can have this! This might be the best cake I've ever seen! Uh -huh. She gets a cake and I get what? Nothing, I guess. Other than just this alien scribble on my plate. Hey! What about my plate? Don't you want this one too? Maybe in exchange for a cake? No? What the heck? You're the one who drew it! Can't believe this. Mmm. This looks great. I'm going in for a bite. How? Oh, mmm. That is one delicious space cake. I'm definitely glad that I won this one. These candies are my favorite. So fruity. The tropical flavors are definitely the better ones, I think. Wait a second. I have an idea. Let me pour some of these out of the bag. They're so colorful and pretty, too. I really love the pink. And now for some organization. I'll start with these blue ones. And here comes the pink. All right. They're all organized and ready for some magic. Yes! It worked! It turned into a poppet just like I hoped it would. Time for me to get poppin'. Hey! What the heck? And what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing art. Oh, right. I forgot. Just got distracted by the poppet, I guess. Yes! I get to use hands this time! And both of them, too! <laughs> Now's my chance. Don't mind if I play with this a bit. Actually, I'm gonna use it for my artwork. I'll start with this paint. Okay, I'll just paint the insides of the poppet with this brush. I'm very excited to see how this turns out in the end. All right, now to do the same with the orange row of the poppet. Okay, that's done. Now let's give this a try. I'll have to flip over this poppet onto my paper. Now to start popping. Red, red, maybe this blue over here. Man, look at her using both hands like she's allowed to do. Wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, nose. You're gonna function as my paintbrush. 
Ooh, the paint is kind of chilly. Time to add some dots of paint to my paper with my nose. This is going well. Time to switch colors. Look! I made my poppet shapes with my nose! Yay! I made mine, too. It's pretty great, not gonna lie. Look at how perfect my dots are. Definitely better than yours. Whoa! The magic's back! Poppet cookies! Don't mind if I do. Oh. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is so, so tasty. It definitely looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a bite, too. Whoa! Are you seeing this light right here? Ooh, looks like we've got boxes this time. I'm gonna take this one. No way! Look what was in mine! Cans of spray paint! I wonder what's in mine? I can't tell just by shaking. I'll open it. Wow! It's a whole box full of new colored pencils! I love them! Oh! Look! Another little box! What do you think's inside? I'll open it and find out. Huh. That's not what I expected. It's a gummy eyeball! So squishy. Okay, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. Mmm, that's very tasty. And chewy. I love it! Wow, that was a really good snack. I wish I had even more to eat. Hey look! We both get to use hands this time! All right, I've got my gloves and I'm ready to make some art. I'm gonna start with this blue color and make a splotch in the middle. Now I'll use this glass as a guide for the white paint. There. Now we've got a perfect blue circle. Next up, I need this plate. I'll put it face down on the paper. Time to break out the black spray paint now. Okay, I need a little black in the middle for a pupil, because it's an eye. I'm ready with my pencils and my one hand. Here I go! Time to draw an eye with my single hand. This is going pretty good so far. And I think I'm done! Ta-da! My happy little face is done! Whoa! How the heck did you do that? What? My cute little eye? Didn't it turn out fantastic? No way! The magic turned my picture into another gummy eyeball! Except it's a huge one! No way! What the heck? That's gigantic! Can I have it? Uh, no way. This belongs to me. Now excuse me. I need to eat my giant eyeball. <sighs> Man. Though I guess I didn't give her any of my cake. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh, another one? They keep coming! Huh? It sure is dark in here. I'm so scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! Help! What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night. Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? Ah! It's back! I need help! Please, help! What? Over there! Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights off! Huh? What is that thing? A monster? Oh, okay, stop teasing me already. I feel so much better now. Monster free's the way to be! Okay, guys, it's picnic time! Just eat your pretend food. Ugh, I'm bored. Ooh, sissy's phone! Uh, but I can't open the thing. I know. All I need is her face. Easy. Don't wake up. Face, please! I won't work without her eyeballs. This tape seems pretty strong. Just gotta open those lids without her waking up. Can't forget about the other one. Hey, <laughs> there they are. Time to unlock this bad boy once and for all. Anything? Uh, still not working, huh? If only her face looked more natural. Come on, close. What's wrong with that thing? Now stay shut, will ya? Just stop moving! Okay, this definitely isn't working. Wait a minute. I can use this clear piece of paper. 
just gonna rest it on her face and trace over her entire face. The phone recognizes the general shapes of the face, after all. Hey, at least she's staying still. Just gotta get the jawline right. Perfection! A masterpiece! Can I help you? Why does this look so familiar? <sighs> if you really want to draw a face, use a photo. Off! I'll show you how to do this right. First, you have to assemble your writing utensils. Make something that looks like an H. See? It's ready. Begin tracing the face like so. And the other side will draw the same thing. It just follows the movement. See? It's totally effortless. No fancy art training necessary. Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Like looking in the mirror. Hey! It worked! See ya! Whatever you do, don't read my text! Or look through my camera roll! Ah, <sighs> what's next? At least all my utensils are ready. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. Yes! Huh? Who's that? Oh! Whoa! Cool. Let's do it! I'm suddenly inspired. And emojis means having fun with shapes. I make a mean circle. Aha! I could use a little extra help. Nothing like a fresh jar of paint. Hey! What's the deal? You don't even care, do you? Wow, she's unbelievable. Psh. Huh. That's interesting. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do this a new way. Get in there, yellow paint. Perfect. Now here's where the fun begins. Fill her up. Ooh, look at them go. Can you guess what I'm making? An emoji, remember? It's definitely different. Hey, Wendy! Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Not sure it can beat this thing. I know, it's awesome. Oh, I wish I thought of that. And they made the whole float out of flowers! Crazy, right? Yep. Mmm. Mmm! What's up, ladies? Huh? Oh! Hello there. We were just talking about flowers. Aren't I gorgeous? Oh, stop. All right, we'll draw you, gosh. But with what? I don't have any brushes. Wendy wouldn't mind if I took one. Would she? This one's pretty nice, too. Good. Now for a thicker line. Hey! That's my brush, Jennifer! That's not yours! No! Look what you made me do! I guess I could use something different. Okay, very different. First, dip the bottom of the bottle in paint. Now use it to make little blossoms. Pretty easy, don't you think? Just a couple more. Perfect roundness, too. Try it with even more colors next. It's starting to look really pretty. See? Not bad. Oh, I don't think I can fix it! Mine turned out pretty good, actually. No hair! <laughs> At least you tried your best. For me? That's really nice of you, Jennifer. Paint hands! Uh, you can hug me later. Hey! What's going on over there? Wow! Shall we do this? One, two, three! Wow! What am I supposed to do with this? Oh! I'll just buy what I need! Huh? What is this? It isn't paint supplies, that's for sure. What's in this thing anyway? Wait a minute! I got it! Just cut the tips off the bags. 
It creates a little spout thing. One more. Let the paint spillage begin! Oh yeah! Just look at all that stuff! And now let gravity get to work! It's pretty fun to watch, isn't it? A little white will add a fun effect. Splish splash! This is super cool! Just look at it! All done! You like? Super weird, right? For sure! But look at this! How'd you get all that texture? I won again! Just gonna touch up my makeup while we're waiting. Looks like you need something to do! Dinner time! Oh, she pressed the button. Wonder what we'll get this time. Looks like it's cotton swabs. You know, the kind that go in your ears. Um, what are we doing now? Oh, oh no. The powder went up my nose. Achoo! Ugh! Those swabs went flying all across the room! Ouch! Sorry, everyone. Oh, is that my face impression? From smacking it when I sneeze? Oh my gosh! You have two up your nose! Yeah, I know. I can feel them. Okay, let me just slide a bunch of these out of the way. Now I can start my drawings. I'll do a pretty lady in a dress. I'll give her long hair too, because why not? All right, all right. This is turning out pretty good so far. Now I just need to cut off the cotton swab tip on one end. And then do the same for all the rest of them. Now it's time to start decorating her dress with swabs and glue. Just gonna line them all up next to each other. Make sure they're sticking in place. First row is done. Time to start on the second row. I'm gonna use the greens and blues for this layer. Who knew these cotton swabs would be so fun to work with? Just gotta finish the top of her dress now, too. Phew! I'm done! And time to show off my artwork! What do you think of my lady in her dress? What a goddess of fashion you've created! Wow! I wish that was a real dress that I could wear! It's amazing! All I have is my face imprint from the sneeze. It's time for the final button push and the final spin of the spinner. The bunny is very cute. Now get to it! This one should be fun. I'm gonna need artsy clothing. Whoa! What the heck? I didn't know we could just change our clothes. Sorry, can't talk right now. Too busy listening to my muse. I shall begin here with a single line and then a bunch more. He wishes to be free of his confines, to run wild in the forest. That bunny came together quick. Yes, well, when the muse speaks, I listen. Here is my finished piece. Oh my gosh, how frightening! Ugh. Whoa! Oh my! Ugh. It's just a wild bunny. I like cute bunnies, so I don't want him to be scary. What I do on one side, I'll repeat on the other side. He's gonna need some arms and legs, too. Tail is done. Now to add his itty-bitty cute little face. Can't have a bunny without a carrot, of course. Okay, bunny, time to give you some color. Like pink ears. Maybe some pink cheeks, too. That'll be nice. Carrot needs color, too. What do you think, bunny? You wanna be white? Nah, let's make you blue. My bunny is done now, too. What do you think? Now that is the type of bunny I was expecting to see. You like him? You really do? Yes! Thank you so much! Ugh, whatever. It's just a bunny drawing anyway. Ugh! What the heck is going on? Everything's going backwards! I think we're rewinding! But why is it happening? When will it stop? I don't know. I'm kinda scared. There's when you made me paint my own face. And when we arrived at the challenge. Ah! Oh! Hey! We made it back to the park! And we're all safe! And hey, look! I've got us some candy to share! Girls! What are you doing? No candy! It's not healthy! Here, have these oranges instead. They have a lot of vitamin C. I guess so. Hmm, my crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing. Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What'd she write to me? Yep, I've got some feelings about this. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. 
I think I'm in love. Wait, just one last look. Yep, this guy is really something. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember. Such a sweetheart. Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower?! All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this. Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals. Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp and you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Oh. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist. Wow, that's 
really stuck up there. That looks chewy. Uh-oh. Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh, okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things. All my things are so boring. <laughs> it's not fair! What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? Upgrade your pens with this simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen. Then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. And screw on the nib. No more boring pens. Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow! You're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive! How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job! I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks, bestie! I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. This looks so cute. Matthew will love it. Oh. Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it. I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should have brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. I don't believe it. And with my eraser, this is the worst. Stupid Matthew. How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again. <gasps> what am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should have thought of this earlier. I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. Oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry. Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. 
Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start! Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch! Hey! I can use that ribbon! That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Uh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook, open the back cover, and start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbon. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box. Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. Are you seeing this? It looks delicious! Mmm, a nice juicy burger. He's just messing with us now. It's cruel. Are you gonna share that? This? No way. Better yet, make your own. Okay, I can do that. I think I'm in love. I'll give it a go. I'll start with the tomato. This is the easy part. That's a good start. Now I just need to let it cook. Wow, look at all the bubbles! I better flip it. Mmm, it smells good. I've got my pancake bun. Let's layer up the ingredients. Then top it with another bun. You know? That's pretty impressive. I'd rather have a real one. Mmm, so good. I bet it is. Stop drooling. Huh? Me? Or you'll be mopping it up. Oh, right. No problem. I'll start by drawing a square. Then I'll fill it in. I'll keep the lines nice and tight. Almost done. This will be the cheese. It can go on my bun. Now for the rest of the burger. And I'll top it off with the other half of the bun. It looks good. I'm impressed. Mmm, delicious. Oh, you're finished. Liam's is better. Are you kidding me? It's a pretty easy decision. Yeah, well, I'm gonna enjoy this. Mmm. Jealous? No. Huh? Right. It's plastic. That's a shame. Now I feel bad. Maybe I should let Liam try it. What the? Thanks, bro. This is what I'm talking about. Really? What? Never mind. Man, it smells so good. Great brushwork. Uh-oh. That's not good. Out of my way! This is an emergency! Uh, is he okay? Hey, quit laughing! While I'm gone, draw a toilet. Okay, this'll be fun. This shouldn't be happy. That's the first part done. Now I can draw the seat. Next, I'll do the toilet bowl. Time to fill it in. I just need to stay in the lines. I don't want to mess it up now. This is looking 
looking good. This must be the best smelling toilet ever. Ah, the seat. I'm enjoying this. Almost done. Now to let it cook. I think it's ready to flip. Whoa! Look at that! My toilet is ready. You took your time. That's it? Really? <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> Seriously? I like it. Hold on. It's missing something. <laughs> That's better. Don't be mean. <laughs> Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. I can thank Lizzie for this. I'll draw the poop emoji. This is looking great. I just need to color it in. I'll use a lighter color for contrast. Hmm. It looks like ice cream. But I wouldn't want to eat this. Okay, time to do the eyes. I'll draw large ovals and fill them in. It's awesome! Look, Lizzie! <gasps> I'm impressed! Phew. No one go near the toilet. It stinks in there. What do you think? They're giving me flashbacks. Especially Liam. You win! Great job, buddy. No! I gave him that idea! <laughs> you can have this. It looks good. <laughs> That's not funny, Liam. My nails look amazing. Hmm, getting the right scale is tricky. But it's fun. Yeah, sure. What is that? It's my ship. Whatever. Let me focus on my nails. That's fine. I need to finish this. Oh no! My pencil! And I don't have a sharpener. Oh, what'll I do now? What's wrong? My pencil snapped and I can't sharpen it. Uh, take this! Oh, okay. How does that feel? No! Use it on your pencil! Oh, right. I see. I'll run the pencil over the nail file. It's working! Look! Now I can finish my drawing! I told you! I have an idea. I'll draw you! Wait, I've been working on some poses. How's that? Ugh, awful. Oh, I know! Go over there! Okay! Ready? That's more like it. I feel so glamorous. Put your hand on your head. Like this? That's it. Wonderful. How much longer? Hey! Ugh. I'm awake. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Good effort. This is my best work yet. Wow, that's really stuck up there. That looks chewy. Uh-oh! Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh, okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things. All my things are so boring. <laughs> it's not fair! What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? Upgrade your pens with this simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen. Then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. And screw on the nib. 
No more boring pens. Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow! You're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive. How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job. I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks! Best day! Selfie! I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. We'll pour some milk into this bowl. And now to add drops of food coloring. There's the red. And now for the blue. And of course, we can't forget the yellow. Now I need a cotton swab. Let's touch it to the milk. There it goes! It's starting to move! I can make it go in whatever direction I want. Time to do some mixing together. Mmm, I'm kinda bored. I wonder what I should do. I've got it! Time to do some art! I'll start with this orange paint. Art is fun. It's hard to stay bored when you can be creative. Better stay hydrated, though. Oh no! What was I thinking? I have paint all over my fingers! Shoot, what a mess. Now what am I gonna do? The paint is all over the glass. Hmm. Wait! I'm a genius! All right, time to start with a clean glass and a fingertip of paint. That should be enough. Now I'm gonna draw a squiggle line across the top. Good. I'll add some more, too. Then I can add a little marker underneath the color dabs. I'm done! Eee! It's so cute! It looks like little lights wrapped around my glass. It's definitely a lot prettier than it was before. I can't believe I came up with this. And time for some more juice! Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey! What do you think of my new jacket? I totally got it on sale! It was 50% off! Isn't it just the best? Yeah, it's nice. I get it. But check out my new jacket! What do you think about my new phone case? Sparkles are so last year. I've got poppets. Whatever. I have this notebook, too. I decorated it with stickers. Hearts and stars and one little ice cream treat, too. What? Oh, My notebook is so boring and plain. This isn't gonna work at all. There's gotta be something I can do. Hmm? I've got these markers. Wait! I think I've got a plan! I've got markers on this knife. I'll cut off the tip. And then I'll make a few more cuts so it'll look like a heart. Aw! Look how cute it turned out! And now to bring out my notebook. I'll use it like a stamp. I don't have to stop at hearts, either. There we go! I've got hearts and stars now, too! See? My notebook has that, too. And I didn't need stickers. Whoa! I can't believe you made that! Up next, a Rubik's Cube. Now that's a real thinker. A ruler and a pencil. Mm, I got it! The ruler can help me make lots of straight lines. These angles make it 3D! What's Nick's doing? How do you make it look so cool? Just turn the paper? It's a little more complicated than that. With the right shading, things can get really dynamic. See? The pencil is a great contrast. Almost there! And next, some super duper light shading. You can barely even see it! The shadow ought to make it pop. Yes! How's he doing this? It's popping off of the page! So cool! Ready to play? There! Incoming! Ooh, I wanna try! 
check it out. What's this? It moves. Wow, nicely done, Nick. <laughs> it's like they're coming at me. Let me get closer. Look! Look at her go! <laughs> Look at all the flying colors! <laughs> Getting dizzy yet? One more twirl, and done! <gasps> oh no! What? Is it on my face? Oh, it's like an abstract makeup! I've never seen anything like it! Yes! Another toilet paper tube! Come with me and complete my tower! Yes! My castle is almost done! It's glorious! Grandpa? Are you in here? I can't find my glasses! I can't see anything without them! I'm practically blind! Stop waving your arms around like that! No! My beloved castle! It has crumbled! All my work has been reduced to cardboard tubes once more! Listen, here are your glasses. Take them and be gone! You sound upset. What happened? <laughs> All my dreams have come to an end. He looks so sad. Hey, wait! What if I could fix things? I've got a toilet paper tube. Now I'll just fold it so it lays flat. And then slice it into circles. Perfect! It worked just like I planned! Now for the next step. The glue gun! I'll just add a little dollop here at the end. Good! Now I need a second ring. This one will do. I'll glue this end to the other end. Good! That's just how I wanted it to look. Now to continue on and keep adding more rings. There we go! I've made an entire circle of rings! Now to add even more, in between the first ones. There we go! And now I'll paint it with this pink paint. Grandpa! Look what I made for you! I know how much you like art! What? You made that out of toilet paper tubes? I did! And look! It can hang right here on the wall as decoration! There it goes! So, what do you think? It's astounding! I love it! Popping these sure is satisfying! Uh… How about you draw this? I love poppets! Okay! Jen's going the colorful route! But I can get more creative than that! Just gonna borrow this. First, lay down some tape. Then add globs of paint like this. Then use a comb to create a fun pattern! It really brings the colors together. Way more interesting than brush strokes. And once you peel the tape back, you're left with the cleanest lines! See what I mean? Wow! This really worked! My comb! What did you do to it? It's mine! Sorry. No respect. Candy piece offering? I don't think so. Wait a second. Okay, hand him over. This ought to be interesting. Purple, my favorite. You go at the tippy top. Now it's really coming to life. And it really looks like a poppet. Nice! Let's see them! Here! Now that's funky! But Jennifer's… Truly spectacular! <laughs> and the winner… Whoa! I didn't know it was poppet season! Ah, selfie time! Did she say selfie? Now's my chance! You like bubbles? Sounds good, doesn't it? Ugh! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> Does this annoy you? Make it stop! Please, I can't take it anymore! What are you doing? Stop! You're gonna leave me like this? 
Oh, you're not getting away with this. Good thing this isn't too tight. Phew. Wait. I know. Maybe I can create something cool out of this stuff. Top of color, anyone? Just fill the bubbles up with paint. And the best part? No popping sounds! And look what I ended up with! A cute little happy face! And I can hang it up right here! Where'd she go? Cool! <gasps> My nails look amazing! Hmm, getting the right skill is tricky. But it's fun. Yeah, sure. What is that? It's my ship. Whatever. Let me focus on my nails. That's fine. I need to finish this. Oh no! My pencil! And I don't have a sharpener. Oh, what'll I do now? What's wrong? My pencil snapped and I can't sharpen it. Uh, take this! Oh, okay. How does that feel? No! Use it on your pencil! Oh, right. I see. I'll run the pencil over the nail file. It's working! Look! Now I can finish my drawing! I told you! I have an idea. I'll draw you! Wait! I've been working on some poses. <clears throat> How's that? Ugh. Awful. Oh, I know! Go over there! Okay! Ready? That's more like it. I feel so glamorous. Put your hand on your head. Like this? That's it. Wonderful. How much longer? Hey! Ugh. I'm awake! What do you think? Uh, yeah. Good effort. This is my best work yet. Wow, that's really stuck up there. That looks chewy. Uh-oh! Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh, okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things. All my things are so boring. <laughs> it's not fair! What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? Upgrade your pens with this simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen. Then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. And screw on the nib. No more boring pens. Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow! You're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive! How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job! I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks! Best day! Selfie! 
I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. Banana? Yes, please. What is this? Ugh. Thanks. My all-time favorite snack. Mmm. Whoa! What just happened? Okay, very nice. Wait, we're in yellow. Which means that's part of our next challenge. I totally got this one. Good thing I've got plenty of yellow. What's wrong with this thing? Come on! I know you're in there. Emma! No! Ah! Uh-oh! I think I used too much pressure. My pancake is ruined! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Stress balls always calm me down. Phew. Thankfully, I don't have that problem. This glue pen always delivers a smooth run. And luckily, I've got lots of yellow to work with. And after the outline, I get to fill this stuff in. So much! But all my patience is sure to pay off. All the details really bring the character to life. Just wait till you see what it looks like. Can you guess what this part is? Yes, it's his eyes and goggles! Now they look more real. Whew! My masterpiece is finished! So cute! Wow! I think I'm ready to do this now. And I'm starting with the blue. It's probably safer that way, right? Aw, these goggles are so cute! And so are the overalls! Can't forget his little hands! And now it's time to fill it all in. Can you see him yet? I've got to use the other colors before the yellow comes into the picture. And here it finally is! And with no messy blockages this time. Just gotta fill in the face, the eyes, and I'm just about done! Hey, everyone! That's enough of that! Hey, stop! <laughs> we declare a tie. So we both win? Yes, yes, yes! Uh-oh. The alarm is going off. I'm in charge now. Um, hi there. This is your next challenge. Hey, you'd better start drawing. The pressure's definitely on with this one. Hopefully I make it past this round. But I can't worry about that too much. I really need to focus here. Is this starting to look familiar? I'm glad I have a lot of black on hand. And next comes blood red. It's coming together now. And I can make a design with the different directions of the strokes. See what I mean? And now for the details on the mask. I'm choosing the heart symbol. Is this good enough for ya? Yeah? Phew! What a relief! Get going, Emma! Oh! I'm sure this pancake will please you. Outlining the hoodie part is a good start. And I'm going straight in with the details. Ooh, look at that vibrant red! Almost there! And I'm done! Mwah! You like? It's a tie! I can't believe it! Woohoo! Hey! I don't think so! Huh? Aww. <laughs> Looks like he really likes those things. Well, bye, I guess. What happened? Oh well. 